Hey everyone, welcome to new updates of Odoo 18. In today's video, we will be discussing about the taxes in company currency in Odoo 18. So, Odoo is designed to handle multi-currencies environment seamlessly. By default, the taxes are calculated and displayed in invoice currency. However, there might be a scenario where you need to display the tax in company currency as well. So, let's move on to the accounting module. Under the configuration, we just need to enable a feature. So as you just move on to the configuration settings under the customer invoices, you can just find a feature called taxes in company currency. So we have to enable that feature. So taxes also displayed in local currency on invoices. Now let me uh, save the changes that we have made. Later on, we can just create a uh, invoice. So let's move on to the customer invoices. Under the customer invoices here, you can see that we can just enable or manage the uh, different currencies. So actually, USD is the default currency. So let me set uh, the currency as uh, Euro over here. As I have enabled the taxes in company currency, that would use the company's currency in my invoice. Even if I have set Euro as a currency, that to be used in the uh, in this invoice. So when the tax is calculated, the taxes will be set in the local currency of the country. So here you can just choose the uh, customer. So my customer is required. And let me choose a product. So the product is customizable test. And here you can see uh, currently the tax is calculated in Euro. And uh, the total price is also shown over here. Now afterwards, we can just confirm this. As we just confirmed this, now the next step is to print and send the invoice. So as I just click on here, you can see that the amount in uh, USD as well as the tax also will be calculated in USD. Okay, so as we just enable that feature, this is how it's reflect. Now uh, we can just continue with the process and let's print and send this. Now let's go to the... Uh, configuration settings and uh, let's disable that feature and let's check how uh, it's effective when we just create an invoice. So let me remove this feature. So this won't be displayed in the local currency on the, I mean the taxes won't be displayed in the local currency on the invoices. Now we can let's create an invoice over here. You can create a new invoice where you can choose a customer. So the customer is John and uh, let me choose the currency as INR. And later on, you can just fill out the other details such as the invoice line and dot. So let me choose stool uh, as the product. And here you can see the amount as well as the tax that is applied. And let me just save this and uh, confirm the invoice. Afterwards, you can just click on print and send and let's print and send this. So as you just print and send this, you would be able to find uh, the invoice over here. So let's check the invoice that is generated. So as we just disable that feature, taxes in the company currency in Oru, you can see the tax will be calculated in the currency that is set on the invoice of the database. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, and uh, this taxes in company currency is one of the features that is for comparing the tax amount across different countries is and can be very challenging. Converting them to the company's currency can provide better insights. So I hope this video were worth. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.